what's up YouTube as you can tell from the title of this video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my experience purchasing a vehicle through CarMax this was actually my second time going through CarMax I purchased my 2010 Buick LaCrosse from them back in 2013 and my car was on its last leg, needing some repairs. Um, the repairs were pretty pricey and my mechanic suggested to me, hey, the repairs cost more than what the car is even worth. You might as well treat yourself and get an upgrade. And that's what I decided to do. So I purchased a 2019 Toyota RAV4 XLE Premium. And I had my eyes on this car for almost a year now so my heart was set on getting this particular car i tried going to toyota i visited a few dealerships and you know the numbers just weren't looking right they weren't able to get me the right deal toyota just did not really want to mess with my negative equity situation i think for most banks it just does not look good and they would prefer not to lend to you in that kind of circumstance at one point one of the sales representatives told me that they were asking for like fifteen thousand dollars down and i just said you know that's just a ridiculous down payment i mean i don't know who would be willing to walk in a dealership put down that much amount of money on a car i'm it's not happening now keep in mind my situation was a little bit complicated i still owed money on my buick lacrosse and i was what they call upside down in my car loan so i owed more on the car than what the car was even worth i think my payoff amount was a little over nine thousand dollars and um current value of my car was only three thousand dollars so six thousand in negative equity did not look good to any of these dealerships and they just really did not want to mess with me and it just wasn't looking like i was going to be able to get a brand new rav4 and so i said you know what i had a pretty, pretty decent experience with carmax the first time around let's see what their inventory is looking like so my process started online browse through selection they had hundreds and i mean hundreds of rav4s all over the place i mean in different states everywhere my local carmax did not have a whole lot of uh rav4s in stock there at the actual dealership and i really wanted this particular color the lunar rock which is like this cool looking greenish gray color super dope you were on their inventory and the moment i seen the first one i had it in one tab while i was still kind of you know browsing through the other selections literally within 10 minutes somebody had snagged it up and put it on hold that is an option as you are browsing through carmax's inventory if you see something you're interested in you work with your salesperson and try to get on it right away um, it does not cost anything for you to put the vehicle on hold it's just your way of securing that car you know while you're working through numbers with your salesperson and trying to make sure that budget wise or financially this car is going to work out for you so i would highly suggest you see something you're very interested in and you know you're leaning towards that put it on hold so i did end up finding the lunar rock color finally the toyota that i ended up finding had a little over 30,000 miles on it it had one previous owner and it was actually a leased vehicle so it was in pretty immaculate condition the car looked com pretty much brand new i had seen a lot of 2021s when i was initially looking and thinking i was going to be able to get that brand new one and they look no different to me the 2019s look very similar to the brand new one and it was all the way in Ontario, California. Now, if a vehicle is not close to you, they do have an option where you can get it transferred to your local CarMax. There's even options, I believe, to get it delivered directly to your house. And I wish I would have did that if I had known I was going to spend seven hours in the dealership. But, you know, I figured my local CarMax is only about 10 miles, a little over 10 miles away from me. So I said, I can go ahead and pick it up. It's no problem. Once I was set, I talk, picked this particular vehicle. I worked with the sales representative over the phone and he went through numbers with me. I submitted things like my income, you know, just the basic. Um, I was able to also get an online appraisal because I was gonna be trading in the Buick. So I went 
That was a really quick, straightforward process. They had me take some pictures of different angles of my car. They wanted to know the mileage, if it had ever been any, any, any accidents, and just certain details about my car. All of this done online submitted it and within an hour I got an appraisal offer which was really convenient the offer was right around what I was expecting it to be you know for the current value of my car at that point I proceeded to go ahead and get the vehicle transferred to my local CarMax now again it's a little over 400 miles from Ontario California to Fairfield California so I did have to pay a transfer fee of $199 and also keep in mind that this transfer fee is not refundable so you want to make sure you are like 99% set on this car that you want because you will have to pay a fee and depending on how far it is sometimes that transfer fee can go up to I've seen on there like two thousand dollars if it's in a different state or over a certain amount of mileage so just you know something to think about you don't want to pay that transfer fee for nothing if you are not sure that this is a car that is going to really work out for you went ahead and paid my transfer fee and at that time he did let me know it was going to take 14 days for the car to arrive now again i live in northern california the car was coming from southern california it's about a six hour drive in my case my car was expected to get here september 3rd it got here the day before but they do tell you they need a little bit of extra time to inspect the car to make sure that nothing happened during the process of transport and just to make sure it is actually in what they called a sellable condition. Um, September 3rd was the day that I was able to come up to my local CarMax and test drive the car. They give you the option to test drive it first. Showed up, I had an appointment set for 1.30 that afternoon. I showed up a little early around 1.15. They just needed my driver's license and proof of insurance. This might be different at different CarMax locations, but I did have to provide proof of both before they would allow me to test drive the car and the sales representatives right now are not allowed to go on the test drives with you so they really just need that they give you the keys and you're on your way they give you I believe it was like 20 30 minutes in order to test drive the car patient waiting for the girl to bring my car around so I can take it on a test drive it's over here So I just run around locally around the dealership just to, you know, test it out a little bit and of course loved it. It um, was true to the pictures that I had seen online and that's when we decided to go through the rest of the process. It got a little bit more complicated and like I said, I spent a total of seven hours in the dealership that day. Starting off with the first issue I ran into was that my appraisal had expired. Now I'm waiting for them to appraise my car again. For some reason, the appraisal that I received two weeks ago is not anymore. So they have to do another appraisal and I'm hoping they come out with the same number they offered me the first time around. We'll see. Now keep in mind, again, this was a two week process. So by the time I actually got into the store, I think the appraisal that I had was only good for a week, which I didn't know that up front. Um, and so when I got into the store, they had to do another appraisal of my Buick. It was a process. They did another appraisal. We were waiting at least an hour and a half, two hours for them to get that done. It was kind of busy that day, so I can imagine they had other things to handle. Um, my sales representative was great. Shout out to Demetria at Fairfield Carmack. She was so patient with me. You know, there was a lot of new people there that day, unfortunately. I don't know why they had to be there the day that I was buying my car. But a lot of new people were working in their business office, so things were just moving really slow. And it almost was a little irritating after a while. I had my mom and my daughter with me, and I make sure to insert some clips. You can see that we were all getting very antsy and our patience was very wearing very thin but again my sales representative Demetria she just was a pleasure to work with she was so sweet we ended up sparking up so many different conversations so it kind of helped the time pass but at the same time 
nobody wants to be in a dealership for that amount of hours. So, so I've been at the dealership now a total of four hours. And in this process, the computer has crashed now. So now I'm waiting for her computer system to come back up so she can re-enter all my information again. How fun. Ooh, thankfully, food is here. Food. Started. I said, you know what? This is a car buying process. Let's just roll with it. I'm leaving with my car. So however long it's going to take, we going to get it done. Okay? So we did the appraisal, redid the appraisal. Now, at this point, everything you submitted to your online representative that helped you, they didn't ask specifically for pay stubs, bank statements, and proof of income and all this. So this is where, this is the process in the store where you will submit all of these documents. Thankfully, they had a printer there. I was able to print out all this information and submit to them. For some of the finance options that were offered to me initially online, were not an option anymore in the store. Once we actually plugged in the number, um, it got a little bit more tricky. So I ended up needing a higher down payment. We um, ran some more numbers. Initially, I was approved through Capital One. Capital One, for some reason, they wasn't messing with me when we entered all the information again. And another part of it is when you submit your pay stub. So my situation, I work an on-call job, my hours fluctuate, and it just so happened my last pay stub, I did not happen to work a whole lot of hours. And so they only go based off your most current pay stub. Now, if they would have went a couple pay stubs back where I was, you know, clocking those hours, it might have been a little different. You have to use your last pay stub. And if that doesn't reflect some of the normal hours you work, it could really impact, you know, your finance, what you get as far as your what they need for a down payment and how much your monthly is going to be. But I was able to get finance through Exeter Financial. I think it's called Exeter Finance. Um, they have the best finance option for me, so I just ran with it. I did need a high down payment. My car note is a little bit up there, but I was used to paying 561 with the Buick. I had a very shitty interest rate, excuse my language, and made a terrible decision back then of just going with that interest rate, paying all that money, all and over time, it was just not worth it. Um, I'm around the same with my Toyota a little more because I did choose to get the Max Care, which will cover me up to 125,000 miles, I think it is, which is very beneficial. So all in all, the total process from walking through the door, test driving, getting my appraisal, um, getting the payoff amount and figuring out finance options took a total of seven hours, you guys. But it was worth it when I was finally able to sign my name on that dotted line. Thinking about purchasing a vehicle from CarMax, I truly do hope that you find your dream car. There are lots of options out there and their online inventory. So keep scrolling, do your research, make sure you are making the right decision. Buying a car is a very big purchase and you want to make sure you are getting into something that is realistic for your lifestyle for your budget and just for you for your enjoyment you do want to love your car as well so i do hope that you find something that works out for you if you have any more questions related to my experience feel free to leave a comment below i will try to answer any and all questions the best i can be sure to insert some clips i'm going to give you guys a little car tour just so you can see what i ended up leaving with i love my car i'm excited about it i will definitely make sure to show you guys and yeah good luck on your journey finding that new car it's out there i promise it's out there <laughs>